What's really good, 2024? It's your boy, MeJ Media. This is Kovu, and we just built a completely wireless YouTube studio desk setup. You've probably seen a ton of them on YouTube already, but I'm taking it to the next level. So let's get it. Here. Okay, I was gone for a minute, but I'm back now. So let me first start off by saying that I hate chords, like with a passion, like with the white hot intensity of a thousand suns. I mean, let's be honest, they get everywhere, they're messy, they cause clutter, they always find a way to trip you up. You can never find the chord that you actually need when you need it, and no matter how neatly or nicely you roll them up and put them away, they always find a way to get tangled. Like, how'd that work? So instead of fighting it, I decided to just make probably the most versatile and functional setup that looks great on camera still, but comes with zero chords. And when I say no chords, I mean no chords. There's no extra lights in the back. There's nothing out of the shot to give the illusion of no chords. What you see is what you get. It's just this. So let's get into how I built this. First of all, it comes the desk. I found this affordable sit to stand desk on Amazon for about $140. And I had three musts that this desk must have. All right, so number one, it had to have wheels, right? I had to be able to move it around, relocate it and things like that. Number two, it had to fit into this little nook that we have right here so that when it's put away, it doesn't look out of place and just like clutter. And number three, it had to go with the aesthetic that we've already established in this space. So that when it is put away, it still looks like it belongs there, even if it doesn't. The only time that I plugged this in was to adjust it to the height that I wanted it, which is the height that it is now, and it's going to stay this way permanently, and then I unplugged it and put the cord away, because I don't need it anymore. Now, do I wish that this desk was a crank desk instead of an automatic sit-to-stand desk so it could be legit, no cords? I mean, yeah, but to find it in that price point in this color profile is much harder than you think. Next is probably one of my favorite parts of this setup, the stand. This is the Arkin overhead mount, and this thing is a beast. It clamps right onto the desk, built like a tank with the ability to do overhead shots, and this one stand actually holds both my main camera and my overhead camera at the same time. Also, shout out to Omar from Think Media for putting me onto this stand. Go check out their channel, show them some love. Um, this is kind of a pricey stand at about $160 on Amazon, but it is well worth every dollar. For my cameras, I'm using the Sony a7S Mark III with the Sony 24mm 1.4 G Master lens as my main shot for that fast aperture and that creamy bokeh that everybody loves. And on front of the lens, I have the Freewell V2 ND filter. That's so I can expose the outside to show that beautiful scenery. For my overhead camera, I have the Sony a7 IV with the 16 to 35 G Master Mark II. I thought about getting a faster aperture lens or maybe like a prime lens or something, but I'm shooting products with this, this top-down shot. I have the versatility of a zoom lens, and I don't need a crazy fast aperture to shoot detail and product shots. On the front, I have the Nisi True Color polarizer to cut down on some of the glare from the light to the table. And I mean, does it work? Eh. I love how this mic contraption came together. I bought this mic arm from Amazon. It's a low profile mic arm that I got for about 50 bucks. It also comes in white. Uh, don't worry, I'll leave a link. I should have said this before. I'll leave a link to everything I'm talking about in the description below. Um, but if your color profile is white, you can get that as well. But for me, I mean, all black everything. You know what I'm saying? Um, but. This mount is adjustable when I need it to be and it's out of the way when I don't need it at all. The mic that I'm using is the wireless DJI mic, right? And it's great sounding, it, it's super compact, it records to itself. And I even found this attachment on Etsy that turns it into a handheld mic. And I know Amazon has some, but I just love this hexagonal honeycomb design on this one. And I mean, just, just look how dope this looks, right? And Again, no quartz. Now onto lighting. The lighting was kind of a challenge because there's so many good lights out there, but I ended up going with the Molus X100 from Z. Hmm. Shut up, you don't know how to say it either. But small and lightweight, it's super bright and can fit into this nook without scratching our bookshelves. And for my softbox, I went with the Aperture Light Dome Mini 3. 
It is a little expensive for a diffuser box, but this is so satisfying. It's a quick release light that folds up for quick storage and the included grid attachment really helps to direct the light and gives a very flattering look to my face. I mean, like, look at this, zoom in on my face, zoom, zoom in like all, all, all here, just zoom into all of that. Yeah, yeah, Cover, where you going? All right, I see how it is. Now for the finishing touches. On the front or the back of the desk, I'm bad with directions, um, I have this clamp on desk drawer from Vivo that I can use to store different things that I need for the setup but want to keep it out of the shot like lens caps, extra batteries, uh, stuff like that. On the front here, I have a makeshift phone mount uh, that I put together so I can use my phone and this app called Parrot to use as a free teleprompter so I can keep track of what I'm saying and I can keep these videos from being two hours long of just me talking because don't nobody want to hear that. I stand corrected. And in order to mount my camera, I have a super clamp that I got from Amazon. And on top of that, I have a quick release ball head for easy setup and tear down. I even have another one for the overhead shot because let's be honest, who really trying to be up there screwing their camera in and off like that? So there you guys have it, a completely wireless desk setup. Thank you guys for joining me in my journey to create the new wave of how we make content. All right, now if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smack that like button one time for your boy, and we will catch y'all in the next video. Say bye, Kovu. Peace.